Evolution Mining is Australia's premier gold company. Established in 2011 and with five wholly owned gold mines, as well as an economic interest in a sixth, Evolution has a well-earned reputation for consistency and reliability. Our willingness to innovate and embrace new technologies allows us to operate our projects safely and efficiently and develop them to their fullest potential. Located in the centre of the Wiradjuri Nation and the Lachlan Valley, Lake Cowell is the largest ephemeral lake in New South Wales and on its western bank lies one of Australia's most unique mine sites. Evolution's Cow Gold Operation, situated between the townships of West Wyalong and Forbes. Since commencing operations in 2005, Cowell has produced over 3 million ounces of gold, with 258,000 ounces produced in the 2018 financial year. The mine has recently been granted an operational life extension with the Stage H pit cutback, which will see mining operations continue until the 2025 financial year and processing operations continue until the 2033 financial year. Cowell is an open pit mining operation with production occurring from a number of different areas at any one point in time within its large single pit. Due to the layout and site configuration, material haul distances, particularly for waste disposal, is the longest of all of Evolution's open pit operations. Currently, the mine has 16 CAT 789 dump trucks hauling material for three operating excavators. This means that the mining rate is constrained by the number of trucks available for each excavator. Material is typically hauled for a distance of 4 kilometres at a 1 in 10 incline, and that's just to exit the pit. From there, it's a further 1 to 3 kilometres across a reasonably flat surface to deposit the mined material at either the crusher, stockpiles or waste rock dumps. This means there's a considerable variation in haul distances and haul cycle times. Current operating philosophy is to light load the trucks to maintain higher speeds travelling up the ramp and reducing cycle times. However, the question remains, what is the optimum payload versus haul speed trade-off and how does that change with increases to the depth of the pit and alternative haulage distances to current and future waste dump locations? The aim of the Cal Speed Run Challenge is to increase the mine's productivity by optimising the payload of each truck to determine the perfect balance between speed and cycle times. To assist in the challenge, a fleet monitoring system, MineStar, is installed and fully operational, with a significant amount of individual truck cycle data available for analysis, as well as over two years of VIMS data that can be utilised. Because a mine site such as Cal has an ever-changing site layout, there are a number of additional considerations to ensure that any solution to this challenge remains viable in the future. Firstly, for any given haulage cycle, can payloads be calibrated for a specific location using historical VIMS data? And secondly, can payload optimization be done in real time and displayed to the operator? because optimising payloads and haulage cycles has the potential to increase productivity while decreasing costs, the value of this challenge is variable, but quite considerable to evolution. Good luck, and we eagerly look forward to seeing the solutions that you develop for this challenge.